Now we're running a little short on time, but you're solving the equation for the second eigenvalue. And I just said that uh, this is your primary idea for systems of equations. For any system of equations, especially constant coefficients, right there is what you start with, okay? Uh, doesn't matter if it's a system of two equations, three equations, ten equations. Of course, if it's three equations, x is going to have three components, and you're going to have the y1, y2, y3, obviously. Uh, but you start with this assumption, uh, you work through this, and you get your characteristic equation, you solve it for lambda, and then you find your solutions. And every solution will have a number of components that's equal to your number of equations because your x vector will always have that many components. So it's just a matter of solving the simultaneous equations to get some x vector that works, and then writing down your solution and verifying it.